Chicago by Carl Sandburg. We're not going to read through this whole one, but you can see already the influence of Walt Whitman. This is free verse. This is no rhyme, no reason. It's just um, making the words sound right. And the thing oftentimes with free verse is you ask yourself, why does the poet end the line where he does? Why end it on stacker of wheat? Why end it on freight handle? Freight handler. And the answer is the poet wants you to focus on a particular word. You pay attention to the beginning of the line. You pay attention to the end of the line. You pay attention to where things start and stop. And this is what the poet thinks about very consciously. What are the words I want them, that they need to pay attention to, the important words that have to do with the overall meaning of the poem? <clears throat> and so you have here, it starts off, hog butcher for the world, emphasizing the butcher, emphasizing the world. As you see in the rest of the poem, this is very much about how Chicago is a brutal place, about how Chicago is a bloody place, but also how it's a wonderfully interconnected place, how it's unique. Again, this is an influence of Walt Whitman, the uniqueness of Chicago, the many different parts that make up Chicago. You have this, the, the painted woman, the gunman, the woman and children marked with hunger, uh, piling job on job, t the dog tongue lapping for action, all these different parts coming together. But the message here is somewhat different. The message here is somewhat different. Sandberg starts out by saying, I recognize that Chicago's corrupt. I recognize that it's brutal. I recognize that it has all these problems with it. He's like, I'm not saying Chicago's a perfect town. It's a horrible town, he says. But, he says, having answered so, I turn once more to those who sneer at this my city, and I give them back the sneer and say to them, Come and show me another city with lifted head singing, so proud to be alive and coarse and strong and cunning. And he says, Chicago, yes, is a bloody town. It's a brutal town. It's a corrupt town. But he says, you know what? It is a living town. There is this sort of defiance about living in Chicago. It is living. It is taking on. It is ambitious. It is bold. It is striving for things that have never been striven before. So he has this sort of a mixed perspective on Chicago. He understands that Chicago is a terrible place in many ways, but he also thinks just the spirit of life that is in Chicago and the way it's uh, ambition, the way it connects to so many different aspects of life and just the celebration, the sheer exuberance of life in this corrupt and dark city is, he thinks, something really worthwhile and worth celebrating. 